Hi, it's Pete DeYoung here with Remax with another market update. This is for uh, August of uh, 2021 versus August of last year. That's the way I'm going to be looking at it. We're going to be looking today mostly at detached homes and at the apartment condo market. Um, the rest would be semi-detached homes and, and townhouses, and they would fall between the two. So I'm going to show you the two extremes as to what's going on in this crazy market. Is uh, In detached homes, which is driving all of the growth in our market right now, uh, sales were actually up 31% over August of last year. Now, of course, you know August of last year, we were still in the thick of, um, of COVID, so that was negatively affecting our sales, but a 31% increase is still huge. It meant that we actually sold 1,300 homes, which is more than we normally sell or that we've ever sold I'm, I'm gonna look into this a bit later in uh, in Calgary in August it was a very very busy August for us new listings came up six percent uh, which is I mean it's always good to get some more inventory even if it's more than last year but it wasn't keeping pace to sales so ended up happening is our inventory actually shrunk by just over 14 percent I think it shrunk by somewhere close to 14 percent uh, which means that our sales to listing ratio was 83 percent so that means 83 percent of the number of listings we took in that month uh, uh, were the number of sales that we had in that month. So that means, of course, that the market is still very, very tight uh, for um for detached homes. If you're a buyer, you're still having a tough time finding a great house at a great price. And it looks like price increases will continue for at least a little while yet uh, until things you know, start to make a bit of a more dramatic change. Uh, as of now, we're up 11% uh, over last year in terms of sales price. That's the benchmark price, by the way, not uh, average price, which is a better way to look at it. So sometimes uh, when you see an average price start to start to climb, it's because we're selling more expensive homes than we're selling cheaper homes. In this case, when we're picking a benchmark, we're seeing what what you know an average home in Calgary has done in um, in one year. Condos, on the other hand, especially apartment condos, are still still struggling. I mean, we did, and I say they're struggling, and we sold 49% more than we did last year. Uh, but last year they were really really hurting. COVID really hurt apartment condos, and I would even say with in that, like I've been saying for the last few months, one bedroom condos especially. So sales were up 49%, new listings came up 15%, which is good, uh, but it did mean that inventory climbed 7%. So whereas inventory came down 14% in the detached market, we ended up with a just over a two month supply, 2.13 months. In uh, in condos, it looks radically different. So in, in the condo market, our inventory climbed 7% and that meant that we had a sales to listing ratio of 58% and we've got a, um, a 5.38 month supply of apartments. So, you know, under six months supply is not terrible, uh, but compared to the detached market in Calgary, it's it's uh, it's nothing like it. Prices in that market have come up 2%. That's the benchmark, uh, benchmark price for condos within there. So again, if you've got a townhouse or a semi-detached house, and you'd like to know what's going on in that market, feel free to give me a call. I'd be happy to chat with you about what's going on there. Um, I will say that with respect to areas of the city that are outperforming others, we're all doing quite well. Um, it looks like the best performing area would be the deep southeast again. They came up 11.2%. Everyone else is hovering around 10% um, except for the downtown. And again, I would say that's because of the, the condo market uh, where everyone else's sales, uh, or, sorry, at least benchmark prices have gone up by around 10% or average prices. The city center has only gone up 6 Point one percent, and again, that's condos. So, if you're thinking of starting an investment, um, now is probably not a bad time to be looking at condos. Uh, they haven't really bounced back at the rate that the other places have since um, since we started opening things up in this province. Again, every market is different. Whether you're looking at a different style of house, a bungalow versus a two-story, uh, every market is different with respect to neighborhoods. Even and even within neighborhoods, some areas do better than others. Um, sometimes affected by things like how close you are to the C train and stuff like that. So, if you want to know what your house is worth, um, no obligation. Just give me a quick call, send me an email or a text. I'd be happy to get back to you with uh, with some info. And any other questions or, or anything with respect to real estate, call me up. I'm at 403-818-7310. That's 403-818-7310. Be happy to chat real estate. It's, uh, it's my favorite topic. Take care.